Setting up item policies allows you to set various transaction periods and fine rates for different groups of items, such as reference items or Chromebooks. Within the policy preferences, the item policy pane will be to the right, with the current policy set to standard item. You will only have three item policies by default, standard item, system item, and textbook. Just like with the patron policy pane, there are three tabs for the policy settings. Let's go over the main settings on each of these tabs. Checkout is where you will set the default purchase and replacement costs for items in a particular policy. These default costs will only appear in item records if you leave the purchase and replacement cost fields blank when creating new copies. The checkout tab is where the transaction period or a hard due date is specified. The difference between the two is that a transaction period is telling the program how many days are within a loan period, and a hard due date is an override date set for items that are required to be due on a specific day, such as textbooks, iPads, or Chromebooks that would be due at the end of the year rather than every two weeks. The Overdue tab is where you enter the fine rate for overdue items, and if you would like the program to check items out to lost after they've been overdue for so many days. Other holds the settings for holds and reservations. Adding a new item policy is just as easy as creating a patron policy. You will first click Add at the bottom left of the item policy pane. Give the new policy a name and short code, set the statistics group, and which policy you would like the default settings to stem from. Then, click Add. Go through the three item policy tabs to ensure the policy settings are as you would like. Once the settings are in place, click Save to finalize your new item policy.